Hello and good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Thank you for joining in. This talk is going to be from Latina Gives. So to start, my name is Gabriela. I go by Lala and I'm speaking on behalf of Latina Gives. Denver is a vibrant, changing, amazing community that I'm happy to be a part of. And I get to tell you all a little bit about that. How would you describe the Denver, Colorado, Latinx community? I would describe our community as a modge podge of all the other Latino communities throughout the nation. Uh, we have a voice that is distinctively ours. We're a big place for the Chicano movement back in the day. But I think now, since there's been so much movement of people, we have a little bit of like the California aspect, a little Utah, a little Arizona, all the Southwest, little New Mexico. And because of this, we are just growing exponentially. And there's a lot that we are learning from each other, but there's still a lot that we are keeping very distinctively Denver. So I joined Latina Gives very recently, a little bit about two years ago. Um, and I really joined because I had started a new like adult career job. And it was the first time in my life I wasn't surrounded by A, family and B, fellow Latinos. So uh, because of that, I was seeking out that familiarity and comfort that you get from the community that is Latinos, whether it was people who could experience what I experienced in their workplace or people who looked like me, or even just being able to talk about something and not having to completely describe it. Uh, that's really what brought me here. And then I opened my eyes, my vision was changed, my perspective was challenged. And I realized that I needed to continue to do this and be an integral part of this club, this Latina give, this giving circle, this community, this family, because I needed to make sure that I was putting it forward for the next generation. So I have two little sisters, even though they're in my generation, but I hope that some of the things that I experience, they don't experience when they finish college and they graduate and they go into work somewhere, they're not the only Latina. Or if they go and want to be a part of something big, they're not the only Latina. Hi there, I'm Adrian Monsonatis, one of the founding members of Latinas Give. I'd love to share you a little bit about how we came to be gathering in about 2014. There were five or six of us who were very much committed to philanthropy, but didn't feel like we had a home, a space in a typical community foundation, and certainly didn't have the individual wealth to start our own donor advised fund. So we partnered with other community foundation leaders and we learned from other giving circles across the country. And Latinas Give came to be. Immediately, we were surrounded by other donors like us and our community who wanted to be part of such an innovative new giving circle so that we could both collect our funds, but also reinvest them back into the community, into nonprofit organizations that were led by and for and with our own community, Latinas, Latinx communities across the state of Colorado. Our giving is trust-based, it's family-driven, we have a very collective viewpoint, and no one ever makes one decision on their own. We do it together. What gives you pride in our community and being part of this giving circle? So I say for me, the number one thing, um, kind of how I joined Latina Gives, is keeping the community alive. I love being around fellow like-minded people like myself. Um, I grew up working in my uncle's restaurant and I was always surrounded by familiar faces, family, um, and just a real sense of love. And I wanna give that back to the community. I want whoever comes in to um, any type of interaction with anybody from Latina Gives that that's how they feel. Like, hey, these are people who are on my same level who get me. It's not, I don't have to explain it. They just know. And I think um, to, to challenge the perspective on that, it's very normal for BIPOC communities to always say, if you know, you know. But I was reflecting on that, that sometimes what if you're not, what if you don't know? 
And so to break down the community, uh, we were discussing before the importance of food. And food is something that is not just sustainability, but it feeds our soul, right? Uh, and breaking bread is just amazing when you stop to think about it. Like sitting down and sharing a meal with somebody not only feeds their body, feeds their soul, feeds their mind, feeds their emotions. Like uh, that's something big about Latinos everywhere is like sharing food. If I can't give you a million dollars, but I can give you some real good food. I am so proud to be one of the many contributors to Latinas Give for a lot of reasons. One reason is that I know I'm not at it alone. And there certainly have been times over the years where I've had to step back either for personal reasons or professional reasons. And I know that Latinas Give is not led just by a small handful of leaders, but that everyone together really lifts up our work and that it'll be sustainable across time. Often that's because we do have multi-generational participation. We bring our families and um, our community into the table with us into those rooms that we're invited into. So there's a lasting sustainability across our community that isn't really on the backs of a handful of leaders, which is one of the main reasons why I love being part of Latinas Give. The work that we do is important because we're letting other people be seen. How often do we take for granted support? So that's anywhere at work. I have an idea. Oh, I want to hear about it. Or um, to your parents, like maybe maybe you guys should do this. Oh, let tell me more. The, just that second follow up to something is life changing really, because that means somebody else sees you and believes in what you're doing. And that's what we try to do. The organizations we're giving to sometimes aren't huge grand organizations. They're small, they're very Denver centric. And that's all we need because sometimes we just wanna know that we're in the right direction. And that's, I think, where a lot of our giving goes. Uh, one additional aspect that I love about Latina Gives is we, are not your tr traditional philanthropists. So we're a group of working women, that's it. We collectively pull our money together and then we all intentionally give money to things that are important to our community. Latinas Give is a critical contributor to the philanthropic community, not only here in Colorado, but as a model across the country. One of the most important ways that we are able to share our story is through the stories of our grantees, what our investments are able to do and how we're able to lift up folks. So whether it's a brand new nonprofit organization that we're their first funder, or it's a long time organization that just doesn't have diverse donors really investing in them. Latinas Give is a stamp of approval for our incredible group of grantees. We are closing in on over 90 organizations that we've given to community groups doing a wide variety of work across a very diverse geographic location here in Colorado. We've helped support organizations that provide support into communities, advocacy groups, supporting leaders, making sure that parents have what they need to be able to do the work in their school systems. And so many of our donors are very much drawn into this work for a wide variety of reasons. Maybe because we've been impacted by cultural organizations or because we are deeply committed to youth development. There's a space in Latinas Give for every kind of donor who identifies as a Latina. And of course, the best way to bring this life to life is for you to hear the stories from one of our grantees. This organization based in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, recently shared the impact of our grant on their work and truthfully supporting good work in authentic ways is really what matters. Paula said it was her first grant. It was my first grant writing it. It seriously was like, I was, when I received it, I, I called my husband. I was like, I got it. I did it. Um, but you know, being the first time and I think Latinas, sometimes we are first times and, and that's just nerve wracking to learn the process. And, but it was so powerful. Um, when I got the response, I was like, 
the hard work that we've been investing in the last year, especially through COVID, was very powerful. And you guys just inspire us to keep doing the, the, the good work. What do you see for the future of our community and our giving circle? So when I think of a future, way far away, hopefully, not the future that is tomorrow, but way far away, uh, I hope that the giving circle is filled with more women my age, more of my friends and younger people. Uh, there, I don't know, there's a lot happening in Denver right now and I hope that we're able to maintain our place that it's important what we say, what we do, how we feel. And we just have to come out of our shells. We have to come out of the bubble. We have to come out of the community and tell other people. I think that that's the number one aspect because a lot of a lot of times today people are very much like myself included. I'm afraid. I don't want to go out of my circle. I don't want to. I don't want to hear negative things about this or something that I'm passionate about. But it needs to be done, right? The only thing constant in life is change, and we have to embrace that. And I think we do embrace that. The world is ours. The world is not yours. The world is not mine. The world is ours. And for that to happen, especially in a world post COVID is we have to come together and support each other. And I think Latina gives, we already have a very strong, strong foundation of women who are about that. Like, hey, uh, I just got a promotion. And then, you know, all the praise comes in from all these beautiful ladies. We're like, awesome, you did it, you rock, you killed it. I've seen all the hours, all the work you put in. You went above and beyond each time and you deserve this. Hearing praises like this is amazing. And now take that and tenfold it, 10 times it. Hear that for other communities. So now not only is it just for this small bit of pool, but it's for the whole ocean. Like that's gonna be amazing. And I think we're ready for the challenge. We want Denver to be a beautiful place, a welcoming place, a safe place for all people. And I'm excited for what we do for that because uh, times are changing, but they're changing good. So I just want to keep the community alive. I want it to be something that lasts forever. It's so special here. And I also want to protect our roots. Like there are a lot of beautiful places in Colorado and in Denver. And had it not been for the people before me, making sure that, uh, it was recognized, they might not be here now. So I just want to continue that fostering relationship of protecting our roots, but still evolving, still changing. Like we can do everything we want to do. We can become more alive, but we remember where we're from. Despite the hardships that all of us are facing across the country right now, things like racialized violence, the disproportionate impact of the pandemic on our families, high levels of unemployment and just rising prices in gas and in the grocery store. I have a deep, deep faith and hope, not only for our Latinx community, but for Latinas Give in particular. I know this strength comes from our shared leadership, from the support that we give and that we get to each other, the respect of our community, and certainly the changing face of philanthropy. We are redefining what giving and what philanthropy really looks like. We've been here for our, for our Latina Gives members and for our community, despite and even during the pandemic, we are present always. And I think that's built because of the strength of our ancestors. Many of us come from ancestors and generations ago who've been colonized or who've certainly faced racialized discrimination in their lifetimes. Our elders who faced that discrimination, whether in employment, and how they decided to have their families and the communities that they lived in. There is such strength in our roots and Latinas give truly is that tree that grows out of that challenge met with resiliency and strength. I'm so looking forward to the impact that we will continue to make and we will make that impact together. So in closing, I'd like to thank Philanthropy Together for inviting Latinas Give to share, for creating this space for this important conversation. We are each on a journey of commitment to uplift important work and every giving circle builds a vibrant fabric that shows the power of collective giving. I feel so honored and humbled that Latinas Give is one piece of that incredible fabric. We hope that sharing about our giving circle, our sisterhood and our approaches has been helpful 
and that from it, you find messages of inspiration from our forming and learning. Thank you for joining us today. And if you have any questions, please reach out.